Hello? Tony, it's Chris. Oh, hey Chris, how you doing? Yeah, good mate. Hey, you know that last trip we did? I didn't happen to leave my cricket bat at your place, did I? I can't find it anywhere. That was yours? My wife and I were wondering what that was. Anyway, how you doing? Yeah, good. Can't complain. Hey, the project, it's coming along nicely. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I think it's time I let the cat out of the bag. You might have noticed the world isn't quite as it's supposed to be. To some extent, that's my fault. I messed up big. We messed up big. But I'm getting ahead of myself. See, I hadn't heard from Chris in quite some time. Part of me thought he'd never really finish it, that we'd never really cross paths again. It was an impossible dream, but boy was I ever wrong. You see, he and I go way back. I suppose it must have been the mid-80s. In fact, it was 1986 to be precise, at Miramar Naval Air Station. He was a Devil May Care pilot from the Australian Air Force transferred in for what was meant to be an hour and 50 minute misadventure. But it didn't quite turn out that way. We called him Maverick. He kept insisting on clickspring, though, and kept calling me Goose. Anyway, if you follow my channel, you'll already know this is home shop machining and hobby time traveling. I'm not particularly good with either of those, but I keep myself entertained. But as it turns out, those two hobbies aren't the safest mix. You see, one day, we had what, evidently, turned out to be quite the dangerous idea. Who can it be knocking at my door? It's open. Chris. Tony. Thanks for turning on the lights, buddy. I reckon it's finished, mate. Just as you ordered. The anti-kithera mechanism. You're kidding me. I never thought, wait, you really? With the tooth count changes I asked for? Oh yeah. Down to the finest detail, my friend. So, do we have it? Tony, do we have it? <laughs> oh yes, Chris. We have it, all right. This looks absolutely perfect. Now, you know I'm not one to second guess you, right? But some of those gears look completely crazy. You double check the numbers, yeah? Um, the numbers? So what do you say? Should we actually do this? Oh yeah, definitely. How many years have we been working on this together? There's no turning back now, Tony. <laughs> Always with the black. You know, we really should do something about these lights. He was right, of course. And not only about the lights. We put this ball in motion and there was no stopping it. Our curiosity, it was just too strong. Before planting the updated mechanism, we thought we'd make one last trip. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> How do you reckon they're going to do that pointy bit? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> Telling you, it's got to be him, Jan, from Cody, Wyoming. I never told Chris, but our little frolic through history started to make me nervous. I had a few things to see to first, a few things I just couldn't leave to chance. 
Hey, so who's this little fella? Chris, I'd like you to meet my grandfather. It's very important that he get into metalworking. Would you mind keeping an eye on him for me? I'll be back in no time at all. Like, literally. This thing was rotten in the future, and here it's good as new. Now, I know you folks get a kick out of all the metal cutting shenanigans, but uh, I don't know if I have it in me this time. I'm just gonna walk this over to the saw and cut it off like a normal person. Hä? Huh? Was sind das für Bücher? Und warum habe ich Untertitel? Huh. Hm. Okay, we've got to get this right, Chris. No mistakes. We take this back to ancient Greece. The changes we've made should steer history in our favor. And I might finally get that drill press I've always wanted. I'm with you, mate. Just give me a sec. Okay, let's do it. I'm, I'm scared, Chris. Hold my hand. Come on, pull the lever already. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I have no idea. No way was that grease. How can you be so sure? You're sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We were in the middle of the Mediterranean. Greece is in the middle of the Mediterranean. Yeah, but we were on a ship, and I don't know if you noticed, but it didn't seem to be doing so well. Okay, fair enough. Maybe we weren't in Greece. But we left the Antikythera mechanism behind in all that madness. Maybe, maybe our plan still worked? Well, it still looks like the same drill press to me. Yeah, I... I don't think it worked, Chris. But wait a minute, whoa! We're back on my bench in my shirt. It's dry as a bone. <gasps> Never mind the shirt. Look at your watch, Tony. Oh, now that can't be good. There was a slim chance this could happen. Bear with me a sec. In our timeline, pi had a very specific and special value. It should be a good way to check. <laughs> well, there's certainly something not right about that number, but I can't say I'm surprised. Hey, this doesn't look right either. You know you could just hand things to me instead of sliding them into the shot like that. The conversion button, it's all in inches now. And look, my machinist scale, the metric units are gone. Did we just delete the metric system? No, that can't be possible. Let me see what the Machinist Handbook has to say about this. I'm afraid something's not right about us, Chris. I'm afraid something's not right about this, Chris. It seems a little lean. And I mean, look at this. Do you think anyone else will notice the changes we've made? No, I doubt it. Hey, welcome back to my chessboard. Today we are going to recreate the match of supercomputer Deep Blue against Garry Kasparov back in 1969. Welcome back to Avon 79 and today we're going to be reviewing the Josie Marin hand lotion. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. A treat especial, the king. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't believe we just killed the metric system. Système international d'unité. What? Exactly. No one will miss that thing. But you realize what's happened now, don't you? Yeah, I missed out on a good drill press is what happened. Evidently, we've done all of this before. The changes we made must have been on top of previous changes. No, not another bootstrap paradox. I hate when those happen down here. I'm a bit worried about when the next time loop comes round. Your indexing head won't be able to keep up with the divisions you'll need? <laughs> mate, come on. Sorry, man, no offense. Well, it's been a big day, mate. I should get home. Wife will start wondering where I've been. Oh, now that? That's something I can fix. No! Viewing the Josie, <laughs> I keep forgetting the damn name.